Morning folks and welcome to another episode of Dave's Allotment on this not very sunny day. First thing, first thing you gotta do sanitize the hands. Next thing you've gotta do, get the kettle on. I'll see you in a bit. Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you up to this Hello, afternoon? Hello, welcome to Dave's allotment. And it's a nice day to crack on. And get the kettle on. But I would recommend you look at his YouTube channel because he's genius. Dave's allotment. Yes, yeah. that's what it's called. What are you, everybody? I read and I like to take the tea. See you in a bit. Oh, that's it, a nice sit down and a cuppa, sorted. Oh, it's a bit hot like. Um, right, today is a little bit colder than yesterday and the day before and all week, last week. Um, which is good, because I don't like it too hot when I'm doing some work. I'm, I'm going to prepare where I'm going to put my cabbages today, so I'll be getting on with that. First of all, I hope everybody's coping all right with this uh, this situation we're all in. It's it's getting a bit uh, tedious now. I know we've all got to stay safe and all of that thing, but and all that kind of thing. <laughs> but um, not being able to see Paul has really doing me head in now. Like I'm really glad I've got me gone. But then again, it's like oh no. Go to the garden again. Great. You know what I mean? I just want to get back to normal now, like. Aye, so today, <coughs> with it being a little bit cooler, I'll get that where I'm going to put my cabbages. It might rain. It's 50 50 whether it's going to rain today as well. So if it does rain, I'll be able to crack on in the greenhouse because I've got plenty of things to do there as well. So, I'll get on with it. Karanu. Ah. Right, so this is the bed here where my cabbages are going to go this year. This is where I had my fire. So, I'll be preparing this bit here, making a cage that the potash and all that off the fire would be great to get uh, dug in, mixed in with the soil. So, I'll crack on with that, folks. Right, that's that done. Time for a brew. Right, just while the kettle's boiling, I'll uh, quickly do this little job. So that's the ground that's been tilled, rake level, and then rake level. And there's only one more thing to do. Now, since me cabbages are going here this year, and if you don't already know this, cabbages like to be planted in firm ground. So there's only the gardener's jig left to do and then the kettle should be boiled get in
Oh, jelly legs. <laughs> so that's that done. I'm going to have a uh, I'm going to have a brew now cuz I'm choking. Right, that's that done. I'm going to get the kettle on. Right, just while the kettle's boiling, I'll show you some of my finds. I've just dug them up. Well, they've been in the ground, obviously, where the cabbage bed was. That's quite interesting. First of all, oh, look at it. Check it out. I got some wood chips the other day for the path. So it's finished. Goes all the way back. Wood chipped. Sorted. Can you little space for me wheel about it again? Right, anyway, I'll show you some of my finds. It looks like it's going to rain. Like we could do with some rain, actually, because the ground is bone dry. But I'm not going to count my blessings. Um, anyway, I'll check out. I'll check out. These are the finds that I dug up the other, the other week. Quite a lot of that blue and white pottery there. And that, these are the ones I've dug up the day. That's interesting. Whoa, can I see? I'm looking through the camera to try and pick things up. That's a bit interesting there. I've never dug anything like that up before. It's quite a big bit. I remember once digging by the greenhouse when I first got my garden. Round down there somewhere. And um, I dug up this smashed vase. It was a big black rose bowl thing I tried to glue it back together but I just chucked it out I wish I'd kept it now though so uh, it's interesting it just makes you wonder who dropped that and the, the most interesting thing I found on my plot ever is that it's a Napoleon the third coin if you can make that out there where's the camera 1881 Interesting That just makes you think doesn't it About the history of the plot Who dropped that Who dropped that coin Where had they been The 18 Was that 1861 1881 Would have been at war with uh, France back then so that's interesting interesting stuff folks interesting stuff right I'm gonna get this cuppa and I'll show you around after that ta -ra now right I'll quickly show you around I just thought I'd start off in the path here because my clematis has started to flower now which is good there's a few open there very nice this one here that used to go all the way along the fence until it blew down has come back to life as well gets loads of birds nests in here that's lovely that one day mine will hopefully be like that right let's get into the into the garden Rhubarb's doing all right there. Make some rhubarb crumble or something. Um, the cherry tree. It's starting to get cherries on. For the birds, them like I never ever. I've never had a cherry off this tree ever. Well, there's two trees there now. This hebe starting to come into the flower there. This was just a cutting when I first got it. It's not off, shot up. Look at the blossom on this unknown tree here now. Lovely. There's another branch there. I'll have to do a little bit of trimming here because there's some dead, diseased and crossing branches there which need to come off. Now I keep forgetting to show you the... Remember the... Clematis I planted here. Well, here it is. Seems to like it there. 
the intention will be for it to go all the way around there this climbing rose the purple one from the pound shop seems to be doing all right as well all oh, bluebells bluebells now I'm not sure I have been told I can't remember I'm sure these are the European ones and the blue ones are the English ones and these ones are apparently taken over or vice versa don't quote us on that folks he has some more bluebells down there as well the crocosmia come at the life the pond has come at the life as well I topped up I put some water in it the other day because it was a bit dry and this pond over here is doing all right gonna have a load of blackberries this year folks I look at the size of that heavey man it was it's it, like I say it was just a cutting this is a mock orange tree a mock orange bush which is absolutely covered in birds nesting same with that holly tree anyway I crack on <coughs> it's getting a bit colder now that the sun's um, gone in I'll show you any pear tree here I never really I, I forget to show you these some pears This, this Ergamont russet is covered. Looks lovely, that. Bloody lovely. And here is the Claygate Pomaine. The oldest tree known to man. <laughs> now, this is a 100-year-old apple tree, if you don't know that. In fact, it's older than 100 years. Look at the size of the main branch there and that that gooseberry bush just appeared from there from nowhere as well but i this is an old tree this claygate pomaine was apparently one of the first well it was introduced around 1881 which is a uh, we had because that's one the when that coin is from <laughs> interesting right taties Nothing's happening with these. I have I've been having to water them nearly every day, like because it's been bone dry. In between here, I've just given a light forking over, because I'll be putting some beans in there when it warms up a bit. Because I, I don't need to earth up; they're already earthed up. There's no sign of potatoes. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't expect there would be. I got all of the onions out the other day as well. The shallots. And they, they've grew since I've put them in. Happy days. Aye, there's, oh, there's my hammer. I was looking for that. So with this cage here, I've made, that'll do. I've lashed it all together. It's sturdy. I put these bars across there just to keep the net up. I'll obviously put some net along the side there when I start putting my cabbages in and all that kind of thing. But that's where my cabbages will be going. I will be putting some fertiliser down as well, obviously. Uh, I've ordered some more of that fast grow fertiliser because I've run out. Uh, it should be coming within five to seven days. So before I do put the cabbages out, I'll give it a good, good feed and all that. Right, what else happened? What else is happening? Nothing much. That artichoke that never stopped growing has never stopped growing. The flowers... These are all starting to die off now, the spring flowers, which is a pity. But that means summer is on its way. This rose has not, not off come on in the past couple of weeks. So is that one down there. So we are though that one's like light green, and these are dark green. And these rose, starting to get loads of buds on there, as it usually does. And uh, Lily is coming up. Ah, they're all dead now. I just leave them to die off naturally. These tulips are dead. So they just die off. Let them die back. But these black parrot ones 
have just started coming out. Canny, canny good. Isn't that right, unknown name man? One day you'll have a name. <clears throat> what else has been happening? Oh, I've uh, I pruned me bush. I give me bush a bit trim. Hey, hey looks canny good. This bird here keeps getting lost. It was right down. It just shows you how, how much it's grew over the years. Eh, uh, nothing happening. These snapdragons coming up. All right. I put some sweet peas in here, which I'll be putting down here. If you've noticed, the wire has gone, because it's down there. But I'll tell you that about that in a minute. Right into the greenhouse. Things are starting to grow now, folks. The marigolds. There's, like, there's only five there out of uh, 12, 12 seeds. Five have come up. But my sweet million tomatoes and the Shirley and the sweet aperitif. Three a sweet aperitif out of six. Hmm. Cosmos. What's those? Cucumbers. What do you call them? Cosmos. <laughs> I'm testing you folks. I potted up the kaolets. The swede has started to come up. My sunflowers are starting to get much bigger now. They'll be going out soon. There's some sign. Oh, these are the con convolvulus. Now, I don't know what's happened to these. They're starting to die off or something. Only three appeared out of the 24 that I sowed in there. And now they're starting to die off. So I don't know what's happening. I might have to start again with them. Is any of these coming up? It looks like that is a lobelia. And that looks like some some of them climbing. What are they? Mixed climbing things are starting to come up as well. Look at that. What's these? Amarithus. A uh, carry few of them on the go there. No sign of the Nigella. I potted on the coleus that I got from Dean. Doing all right in there. He's given us some, uh, some of his dahlia uh, chrysanthemums to take some cuttings off as well, which I will be doing. Them cucumbers are doing all right, the peppers. And the... Now I don't know what's happening with these as well. These are the cabbages, the January King ones. They're all starting to just die off. Why? I don't know why. These cabbages, these are the giant ones. They'll be going out into the cabbage bed soon. Peas. Starting to poke themselves out the ground there. Eventually. I've noticed there as well, my dahlia started sprouting. So I'll just leave it as it is. I'm not going to take cuttings from this. I'm just going to uh, let them grow from there in that pot. The grapevine is just doing what it usually does. And that is get grapes on. Loads of them. Alawa. Isn't that right, B? No, I didn't get angry, man. It's not my fault you're stuck in here. Yeah, is there anything else to show you in here? Yeah, these beetroot will be going out soon as well. And these red cabbage and the onions. They'll all be going out this coming week. Right, I'll take this round into the shed. Show you what's been growing in there. I'm quite pleased with this. I'm glad I got them wood chips while I did because there's none left now. I only needed enough to go down there and enough to go down there, which I've got. Happy days. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Look at these tulips, man. These are massive. Biggest tulips I've ever grew. Still, still well, it's just starting to die off now. Uh, they, that's a lovely colour, that one, isn't it? Lovely. Um, I, I put this this wire just so the 
sweet peas can start to climb up. And they are. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. I had some loose onions that didn't go over there, so I've put them in there. See what happens. It's happening in the shed, in there. Is there anything growing? Yes, there is, look. Lobelia. Can't you feel there like a tiny seed? How are you supposed to sow them thinly? I do not know. No sign of aquilegia. There is a sweet... There's a dead wasp I can see. I don't like wasps. Sweet Sultan. There's one of them coming up. These onions need potting on. And the cabbages there, they're doing all right. Them on the mini coal and the um, cabbies, cabbages are doing fine. They're doing fine now without you, baby. Right. I'll leave you on a little tulip scene and I'll sign off in a minute. For those of you who are asking about Ray, um, just a quick update. As you can see, he's been over. He's, he's been over most days. He's finally getting there with his digging. I am going to give him, I am going to jump over though, because he was saying the other day that this bit here is a bit heavy for him because it's got a load of bindweed. And, so I'm going to dig this bit over for him, all, all the way down the edge here. But he is getting there. Hardcore Ray, man. Uh, so that's, that's it about Ray. Next time he's up, I'll uh, try and get him in the shed. Do that questions and answers thing at a social distance. So anyway, that's uh, how Ray's getting on anyway. Right, folks, it's time to go. I've got my guitar. Oh, no. There's just a couple of things. First, before I do go, the sunflower challenge. Winners, two of you haven't contacted us yet. So if you're watching this and you entered the sunflower competition, please make sure you watch the last video because you might be a winner. I know two of you have and they've contacted us. I will be sending your seeds out either tomorrow or Tuesday. So the other two, please get in contact. Otherwise, I'll just have to give them to someone else. Um, another thing as well, guess who's entered the Gardener's World public videos thing? <laughs> I sent a video in, <laughs> I, might, I might be on the telly, that would be a raw wouldn't it? Um, I sent two videos in actually, the, si the Sing Along 2020 has also been sent in. So you never know, fingers crossed we might be on Gardener's World folks. That would be a raw, haha. <laughs> um, so, I'll let you know if I get accepted. Now, nah, last, woo! I did make a video a couple of weeks ago. I was gonna send the video in, but I've watched it back and it's, it's boring, man. It's, like, for example, I'm trying, I'm, hello, my name's Dave and I'm from Newcastle. I like to sit and watch the birds. Eh, I like to sit and watch, that's the way I was talking, you know? And it's like, nah, that, Forget about it. I might upload it one day, just for a laugh. Let you see me, me, me pitiful attempt at uh, making a video. <sighs> Not much cup I left. Right, I need to wet, wet the whistle. <clears throat> I'll leave you on a song. This, uh, this song is by the Doors made it famous, but it was originally by Status Quo. Can you guess what it is yet? I'll tell you in a minute. First of all, though, I'd like to say thank you for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, and all that kind of thing. It really is appreciated. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one. I hope everyone's staying safe and taking care. And all that. Stay safe, folks. We'll get through this. So I'll leave you on a little song.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll start again. That's terrible singing. Keep your eyes on the road, your hand upon the wheel. Keep your eyes on the road, your hand upon the wheel. Oh, yeah, Dave, get a grip, man. Frick it out. I was playing it just before. Right, start again. And a one, and a two. Keep your eyes up. Oh, why do I keep singing like that? I keep, 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 keep. Keep your eyes on the road, your hand upon the wheel. Keep your eyes on the road, your hands upon the wheel. We're going to the roadhouse, we're going to have a real good time. Hey, I really messed this one up, folks. See you in a bit. Where's me cutter? Where's me washboard? Later. Ah. Keep your eyes on the road, your head upon the wheel. Good time.